Hi, this is Frank Furness, and welcome to Tools and Tips, where I'll be discussing and showing you all kinds of tools you can use with regard to internet technology, websites, e-marketing, developing products. Also, take a look at my website, www.frankfurness.com, or drop me an email, frank at frankfurness.com. Remember to download my free internet ebook, and in that there'll be all kinds of tips and ideas, tools that you can download from the internet, tools that I've actually tried out that you can buy and use for various things. That's yours for free, www.frankfurness.com forward slash internet CFM. Well, let's get started. Right now, let's take a look at Microsoft Word. Now, this is a great program, something we'll use every day. So I'm just going to have a nice, simple letter here. I'm just going to type, Dear Fred, nice to meet you last week. And then just best regards. Frank. Now, I click on that there. There's a couple of things we should do when we start working with Microsoft Word. And the first thing is to set the right language. So if we go into Tools, Language, Set Language, this is for your spell check here, and set it to UK, because most of the defaults are set to US English, and they spell things very differently to the UK English. So set it to UK English, and click on default. Let's have a look at some of the other things that we could do here. If we go into format and font, this will help you change some of the fonts. So it'll show us at the moment we're using New Times Roman regular 12. But let's say I wanted to change that sentence there. So I would just highlight the sentence. I would then go format font. Now, yes, some of the things we could change it to. We could have a look at all of the different fonts that we've got here. So let's say I wanted to put it into a, an impact font. I would click on impact. And there it shows you at the bottom what it would look like in formal Roman. It shows you there, Jasmine. Let's go back to impact. I'm going to put it as impact. There you can see it. Click on italic. You can see what it does. You can bold it or you can have bold italic. So let's just say we want to keep that regular, and you can also change the size on the right-hand side. So let's say we want to change that to 18. You can see there what that does. You can also change the color here. So here's your different range of colors. So let's say we're going to give it a little maroon color, and you can underline it, words, whatever underlining you want, you can underline there. Uh, you can do some other things here as well. You can put on a shadow, an outline, an emboss. So if you see, if you wanted a shadow, that's what it would look like. An outline, if you wanted to emboss it, that's what it would look like. Engraving, you could have everything in small caps, all caps. You could have a strike through. So there's all kinds of different things, double strike through, superscript. But we're going to take all of these clicks out because we really don't want any of these. But you can see the impact that it has immediately at the bottom here. We'll take out all caps. So you can see we've put in that color. We've gone to impact 18. And if we click OK, notice what happens to that sentence now. There it is, much bigger. Now also a short way of doing that would be, let's highlight that. You can come up to the top here and we can change it again. From 18, we want to bring it down to 12. And we don't like impact, so we can have a look. Let's change it to aerial. And straight away you can see there it's changed. So that's what you can do with your format. You can also change the case. So let's click here, change case. And we want everything in uppercase. So we click OK. Let's first highlight it. And we go format, change case. And we're going to change everything into uppercase. Have a look at that. Everything is now changed to uppercase. Or you could change it to lowercase. You could change it to title case, which is the one we'd most probably use most of the time. If we click on that, there we've got the title case. Now there's some other things that you could do here as well. If you wanted to copy anything, once again, you could just highlight what you wanted. 
you would go edit copy and you would copy that to any other program so that would copy it and it would put it into your office clipboard you can actually open your office clipboard and there you can see it is there so if you had to open up another document all you had to do was click on that and it would insert it into the next document there's a number of other things that you could put in here so let's say we want to insert a picture at the end here so there we've got frank i'm going to hit enter and what i want to do is insert a picture there so i'm going to go insert a picture and don't use the normal clip art because the images aren't great so let's say you wanted a photograph of you in action so let's put from file and let's say i wanted to insert that picture click on that insert there you've got the picture inserted now once again if you click on it you can grab the corners pull it in nicely to make it a little bit smaller so this might be an action shot of you doing athletics uh, coaching whatever it is and there it is there's your letter and there you've got a photograph of you which looks really good so there's quite a lot that you can insert here you can insert symbols as well so let's say that picture over here if you wanted to put in there that that was a copyright that was your copyright picture and you wanted to insert a copyright sign you would go insert down to symbol and there you can see there's the various types of symbols I want the copyright sign so there it is there I would insert that close it and you then come in and you would type Frank Furness and you actually don't want it there you want it next to the copyright sign so let's go down here and we just put it there and you type the word in there Frank so there you've got your copyright sign if you've got a book or anything else we've looked at some of the things you can use in tools there's a lot you can do but really you want to keep it as simple as possible let's see if there's anything else we want to put in here you can insert tables um, you can have a word count now often I am asked by people to send them a small article but it's only got to be 500 words now if I want to see how many words there are and it's 10 pages I can't count that or it's going to take me ages to count but if I just go in here and click on word count there it tells me straight away there's 13 words 61 characters this is particularly helpful if you're doing articles for magazines and they tell you how many words they want go into your word count and it'll do that automatically for you so there we've seen you can use some of the different fonts um, you can use bullet points over here so there's a lot you can use at the top there yes some of the other stuff where you've got shortcuts at the top let's say I wanted to put a bullet point there I would just click on that and those are your bullet points there so there becomes a bullet and over here you can bold it so a lot of different things you can use with this program.